Yo, Chris Rock and Will Smith, man. I'm just gonna cut right into the bullshit, dude. Alright, so just for example, someone fucking insults you and you have like a fucking like, I don't know, like a illness where like you have like a really small penis or like your penis is like ingrown or something and it's like super, super like sensitive. Like literally fucking sensitive. <laughs> but yo, like take for example, like you just got like a sickness, right? And then you're just so fucking sensitive about it to a point where it's just like, damn, like someone gotta like make a joke about this, you know? And then you're just like, dude, that shit's fucked up. Like in front of like so many people too. And then just take for example, like you just literally cried on like live webcam or like live stream or whatever the fuck it was. And then you cry to a, a lot of people about your illness or sickness or whatever the fuck your disease is. And then, and then just like at a big ass event, like something called like the Oscars, some fucking guy decides to fucking shit on you and fucking make a joke about it. Like, dude, I was like doing so much research about this. Not even research, I was just looking about like what people were saying on this. And I was like, damn, no one really gives a fuck too much about like what um, Jada is like feeling, you know, like that, that's kind of fucked up. And then people are just like, saying like oh fucking poor chris rock and stuff like that like majority is just flaming on like fucking um, will smith right but to me to to be honest does that warrant like will smith being a fucking dick and like slapping him on stage like in front of fucking everyone no like i really don't think so so obviously there's uh pros and cons to like both scenarios but you know i'm not gonna say like who's right and wrong obviously like I'm not gonna get into like the whole like politics on shit like that, but you know, cause it's gonna like create all this like fucking hate and fucking disturb you. Like all these people like go like, no, you're wrong, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I would say like, dude, Chris Rock, he looked like such a innocent child, like just getting smacked the shit out of that. I was just like, damn dude, how does this guy smile after that, man? And then even after getting smacked the shit out of, and yelled like a motherfucker at this guy is still able to like maintain a smile you know and then i just felt so bad for that guy dude like okay like on, on one hand i felt really bad for jada i felt really bad because that's really fucked up you know like you, you don't really like taunt someone um about like something that's like super sensitive something like you have like a disease that, that's super sensitive number two you, you get smacked the shit out of and then you're like an MC. Think about it. You're, you're like MC. You already have like so much things to like worry about. You're like, oh shit, I gotta make the audience like, I gotta uh, like please the audience. I also gotta like, um, I also gotta crack jokes and shit like that. I also gotta think about like getting smacked the shit out of. And then after I get smacked the shit out of, I have to, I have to like maintain a smile and all that, right? And so I think it's like, it's like both sides there's like pros and cons i'm not gonna say who's like right or wrong i really don't know who's right or wrong actually but um aside from that i saw a lot of like people talking all this smack about like oh will smith like he actually was laughing and then after he laughed you know th they took the camera off screen and then maybe jada told him to like do something about it or gave him like a cue and then that's why he felt like the need to do it because he's not really a man like he doesn't really have the balls because he already let jada cheat on him so many times so he felt like the need to like you know exert his like dominance right or like exert his like manlyhood manlyhood whatever the fuck and so god damn my fucking mask keeps falling but <clears throat> and so um i i saw this analysis right there's like a lot of this analysis that's streaming the web but like i personally think that you know when you're like in the moment like you're just like something like you know you're having a great time man it's fucking dark over here but you're having a great time you're at an event you're having a great time and then um you're just laughing and then this person's like just cracking jokes maybe it's not even that funny but you just like laugh because everyone's like having a great time Necess not necessarily like a great time but everyone seems like they're having a great time and so uh this guy's just like probably just laughing just for the hell of it and then after he realizes what the fuck uh, Chris Rock said, he's probably like, oh shit, that's actually a little bit fucked up. And then maybe it took a while for it to like kind of settle, right? I really don't think that, um, you know, I'm gonna stand here, man. I really don't think that 
um, I, I think some people are like thinking too deep into it. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe it's like, yeah, he felt like the need to like um, exert his like manlyhood or whatever the fuck. But um, to me, I think that like it just honestly took a while for it to like settle, and then it took a while for like that fuse to light up, you know? Um, because maybe he's just laughing, and then because um, you know, like when you're having a great time, you don't want to kill the mood for everyone. You don't want, especially when like five cameras are on you. You don't want to just be like, oh, that's fucked up. So he probably was like, he probably was, let me take off my mask. Probably was like, <laughs> uh, and he got like really pissed off all of a sudden. And then you guys probably didn't see when he got pissed off. And then I don't, I don't even think like he was, his peripheral was on Jada per se. You know, like that's kind of a really far like angle. If you look at it, the angle is like really far. Like, I don't, I don't think you, he was like actually paying too much attention into like what she was like giving that that like really ugly facial expression that she gave maybe he even probably like thought like okay she's probably just like sarcastically like giving this like ugly ass expression you know but but realistically um he was actually pissed off like it took a it took a while for his pissed offness to like settle so i think that you know maybe you know i i mean i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying like every everyone's wrong or whatever um there's probably like different like you know avenues to like explore but honestly i feel like i feel like will smith is like you know he's a pretty decent guy you know like a like he's like you know like sincere guy man and then so I, I don't think he would feel the need to think so much into it and then be like oh shit like everyone fucked my wife so i never did anything about it so this time i gotta do something about it because it's like now all the spotlights on me and now i need a, now i have like the opportunity to show all these motherfuckers show all these haters like what the fuck is up so I, I really don't think he thought like too much into it i think it just like took a while to settle that's that's about it anyways peace out legend panda tv hey this is panda from legend panda tv thank you so much for watching today this video is part of my journey in taiwan series even though this is a prank channel, I'm going to be posting more of these lit adventures on the regular. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see how crazy and legendary adventures can be in Taiwan.